hope this oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. The sanctuary of Delphi. The gods themselves watch over this land. Mistios, well, aren't you a sight to my aged eyes? Young, energetic. Perhaps I should just pay for your body instead of your help. Watch yourself. That's not my line of work. Oh, forgive me. I'm amazed the gods would send me someone so well suited to help me, but who is also so appealing to me physically. I'm glad to hear it. Corigos, my husband, is having some difficulties keeping up with my hunger for pleasure. I imagine any man would. Oh, I have many lovers, but he's my soulmate. When we're together, it's indescribable. Then don't describe it. When we were younger, we would run into the moonlit forest, shed our clothes, and pleasure each other until sunrise. Our howls of ecstasy would echo throughout the valleys. I hope I'm as feisty as you at your age. I'm feistier now than I've ever been. What does this have to do with me? I've learned of a powerful elixir, which if consumed will give someone the vigor and stamina of Eros. If you can gather me the ingredients, I can make it for my husband. All right, I'll find the ingredients. If you promise to keep your nocturnal activities to yourself. I have some drachmi, and Koragos has more. If you can bring me some bear scrotum and a deer tongue, I can make the elixir. Oh, is that all you need? Don't worry, I'll reward you well. I'm sure Koragos will be thankful also. Where can I find a bear near here? I heard there's a cave near the sanctuary that a large male bear has claimed. Are there any deer nearby? This is for keys. There's deer all over the place. This elixir sounds odd. Where did you learn about it? Why, the Pythia told me about it. She's so wise solving a problem I didn't even know I'd have. I'll be back with the ingredients soon. <laughs> Cassandra, isn't this remarkable? We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elpino? We can talk later, in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the Oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well... Is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the Oracle for you! You weren't lying. It really is the spear of Leonidas. Uh, I may have mentioned you. I would appreciate your showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did you...
You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. Hmm. That much is true. Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, Spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> You were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing, like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Bithia. But this time, I'll be an old woman by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest? <laughs> All right. But if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Barnabas. Is she not every bit as great as I said? Ah. <laughs> I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But 
How? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers! Irovatos, uh, you're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you. She knew who I was, what I'd done. She tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. And the Pythia seemed afraid of them. The guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the Temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives, and I will get answers. Cassandra, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. Ah! <laughs> 
Onward! The Oracle is hiding inside. I'll finally get some answers. for the Pythia. Here to hurt you. I just want answers. The Pythia is a sacred vessel of the gods. People travel the world for my answers, but none of them would dare break into my home. Apollo's wrath will be cruel and swift. Guards! I'm looking for my family, and everywhere I go, people are either lying or trying to kill me. You're the first person who might have some answers. But they'll kill me if I tell you. Not if I get to them first. Help me, and no harm will come to you, I promise. All right. But ask your questions quickly. The longer you're here, the more at risk we both are. You said you saw me in your visions. What did you see? There is an artifact under the Temple of Apollo. It reveals what only the gods should know. You called me the child on the mountain. The cult hunts a Spartan child who survived a terrible fall from Mount Taietos. The artifact revealed that child to be you. Why would you work for the cult? I have no choice. So, all those prophecies from the gods, all those people, you're paid to deceive them all? Most want to know about love or death. I tell them what they want to hear. But when people want to know about war or politics, I'm paid very well to tell them what the cult wants them to hear. What is this cult of Cosmos? They are the eyes that see, but go unseen. Enough with the riddles! I want names! I don't know! I swear! They hide behind masks and shrouds. You have an opportunity to do the right thing. Tell me where to find the cult. Tell me where they are, or we'll go find them together. Beneath the Temple of Apollo, there is an ancient chamber. 
I think they meet there. But without one of their cloaks and masks, you won't make it more than two steps inside. Where can I find one of these cloaks and masks? There is a man. He visits me from time to time, makes sure I'm well taken care of. I have the biggest house in the horror of Delphi, yet he still offers Drachmi for my troubles. <sighs> Gives me the creeps. What's his name? Elpinor. Elpinor? He's with the cult? I can't be sure. But if he is, he would definitely have what you require. I sent Elpinor to the underworld. I knew the mask I stripped from his corpse would come in handy. May Apollo protect you. So much for using finesse. I won't let you win! <laughs> from this. Elixir uses ingredients like this. Well, what did the Pythia tell you? The cult of Cosmos is hunting me. But I'm going to hunt them first. She told me they meet in a secret chamber under the Temple of Apollo. So it's all true. If the cult has done anything, it's fooled this old man. I've killed the first cultist, Delpinor. A snake I met in Kefalonia. His mask and cloak will get me inside the chamber. So they're underneath the Temple of Apollo? Yes, by the Cave of Yea. I think I know the place. Find it, and I'll meet you there. Nistios, you're back! And not a moment too soon. I got what you asked for. Who is this of Xesia? This is the Mistios who's going to reignite our spark, my love. 
Oh no! We've been through this. I can't satisfy you anymore. You're going to kill me with your lust. Nonsense. I'm going to make you an elixir that will give you the vigor of a man a fraction of your age. God save me. I cannot do this anymore. By all the gods, will somebody pay me? If I hear any more of this talk, I'm going to be sick. Bah, young people. They don't understand through love. Here, this should be more than enough. My thanks. Come, Goragos. I'll mix the elixir. You get the oils ready. So this is the secret chamber. They're not ones for subtlety, are they? So, this is it. Hidden chamber of the cultists. Here, all along. I'm going inside. Keep my clothes for me? Best not to go in with your weapons, either. I don't think they'll look too kindly on that. How do I look? Terrifying. Good. Find me once you've found out the truth in there. Keep your wits about you. Try not to do anything rash. Me? Rash? Thought these ridiculous costumes were a good idea. Demos hasn't arrived yet. Sorry, it's my first time. A new recruit? <gasps> welcome, welcome. You mentioned someone. Demos. Who is that? You'll learn his name very, very quickly. He's our leader. I'm sure he believes that, but no. He's our weapon. He's difficult. But he does important work for us. I don't envy his position one bit. There's a lot of people here. All share our common mind. Good. We're here to evaluate the strides taken by the cult since the last meeting. We haven't met for some, some time. Where did they come from? The land and across the seas, we assemble as a community. Here, there is no war. There are no sides. I'll go talk to the others. Thank you. Yes, yes, before Demos comes. Who knows if you'll get a word in after that. Still not convinced. You, we need another opinion on this. Why split resources searching for a woman we can't find? If we narrow our focus, Athens will be ours. Immediate threats have to be destroyed. 
Periclis has to be destroyed. Not without the Mother. We aren't strong enough without the Mother. Don't let Vimos hear that. If anything, we should be hunting the Father. <sighs> we know who the Mother is. Looking for the Father would be a waste of resources. What do you think? Hunt the Champion's mother or his father? Neither. You have a better idea? The sibling, Cassandra. She's as good as ours already. We need to look to the future. No. Go after her. Now, if you'll excuse me. I hear need much more directly. information to identify You're who these cultists wrong. are. We need to look for the father now. It's only blood right now, but who knows? Vemos may ask for our hands next. Go on, go on! Make your offering! We just have to keep our sights on what the bloodline will do for us. The bloodline? The mother, the father, the sister. You know, his kin. We need them. All of them. To use them. That information is not for Vemos, of course. You know how volatile he is. He could rip through us easily. I'll be sure to keep it to myself. As you should. Nor can he know we're about to capture his mother. <laughs> Do what with her? I would lower my voice if I were you. Just know she will be put to good use unless she's uncontrollable. You know where she is? No, but it won't be long until we do, I assure you. She's the cult's next target. Tell me about Demos. He's shown us what we need to know. He's a machine, a weapon for the cult. Someone that unstable can't be trusted with such personal information. I have to go. To our great ambition. To ambition. Why they face? So sad. Like the tragic mask of Melpomene. Your family is safe for now. Just... just don't touch them. Don't hurt them. That is up to you, but I know you behave because you know their fates if you don't. Please, don't. We will kill them. Your wife, your child, and then what would you have to live for? Nothing. Exactly. to and from the cult. Gods, they have a foothold in every part of the Greek world. We're in more danger than I thought.
yourselves together, Malaka. You're a fucking pig before slaughter. I'll do it, I swear. I'll kill him. Let me go. You like to watch, you sick fuck. You're not just going to watch. You're going to teach this little insolent shit a lesson. Does he deserve it? Does it fucking matter, does it? What I say goes. No questions asked. I... I couldn't do it. But I'm not scared. Not anymore. If you can't kill a fucking Archon, what are you gonna do when I tell you to kill a fucking Archon? I will. I will. I'll kill Fidias. I... Show him what happens to cowards. They get fucking burned! No. He's yours. <laughs> you don't know what the fuck fun is. <laughs> More for me! <laughs> fuck with me and there's plenty more where that came from! It's covered in shards like Alpinos. Ah, you had the last piece. Now it is ready. Every time I see it, it calls to me and sings of power. Does it call to you like it calls to me? It does. What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I... No. My great warrior hasn't even arrived yet. Gather yourself and hold your tongue, fool. Show respect for the bloodline. Elpinor is dead. One of you is a traitor. The artifact will expose them. You! <laughs> Everyone will be destined. You... first.
Go! You! Get up here! You're alive. There were people in the temple. I couldn't see their faces. They... Herodotus. They control all of the Greek world. Everything. I see. It's worse than I thought. There's more. They have a weapon. What kind? A soldier. Stronger and more ferocious than any I've ever seen. Herodotus. It's my brother. We need to get to Athens. Athens? We need to find my mother. My clothes. Spear. Uh, of course. My spear! The cult of Cosmos called my brother Demos. He used an artifact to see my memories. Cassandra, the man I serve, we must tell him what's happened before it's too late. You've heard the name Pericles before. Pericles is the great general leading the Delian League against the Spartans. They say he's ruthless. We aren't leading the League against anyone. Pericles is a man of peace. This war was thrust upon him. Upon us all. A general who doesn't want war? Not likely. Save your doubts. He is working to end this war. We all are. If there are forces colluding against him, he must be warned. We have to go. To Athens? They're hunting my family, my mother. I have to find her. You carry the blade of Leonidas. Act like it. If Pericles doesn't put an end to this war, we're all as good as dead, including your mother. Fuck your war. The cultists are exterminating my family! You have a duty to the Greek world. We both do. Pericles must be warned. She is my mother. What would you have me do? If there is one place where we can find information about your mother, it is in Athens. How? Pericles surrounds himself with the brightest minds in Athens. Which is to say, anywhere. In Athens, you can fulfill your duty to your family. But before we can go, I need you to meet me at the Lion of Leonidas, at Thermobile. Leonidas? Why? There's something I need to know. Something that may help us take down this cult, and save your mother. You've proven I can trust you, but let's make it quick, Herodotos. First, Thermopylae. Then we go to Athens. Ah! 
I'll make sure every single one of these cultists dies by my hands. Cosmos demands to know the secrets hiding in the hearts of men, so I simply cut them open. 